Welcome to part 2 on pulse width modulation. In the first video we looked at recreating the standard square pulse width modulation and now we'll see how we can apply it to any wave that we have provided. This is not a particularly common feature, however some synthesizers like the Novation X Station do feature independent pulse width alongside its waveforms. And just to quickly recap, a pulse wave can be created with two digital waves that are identical. One wave has the phase inverted and one wave has their phase modulated or offset. So for demo purposes I'll be switching waves in one reference wavetable here inside a double oscillator. So we can retain the wavetable while modifying the shape. The key thing is that whenever we invert and offset the phase by halfway we are left with only the odd harmonics that are present in the wave. The odd harmonics in the square wave are maintained from the saw waves. You can see this wavetable is being used by both oscillator A modules in the double oscillator. Now let's check out some of the different waves. If we listen to the following waves, we'll find the same pattern happening with the effects on the timbre. But in this demo, the wave shape, of course, is not going to be a traditional pulse wave. So we'll only exercise the principle. It's most relevant as a modulation where we'll notice changes in the timbre. This might be called a dual pulse oscillator. Using a square wave here, we cannot produce new even harmonics because there are none present in the square wave. With this organ, uh, it has only even harmonics, actually. So if we turn off the modulation, we're left with only the first harmonic. I can just add a few odd harmonics here and they'll come through. But when I add even numbers, they are already cancelled out and they will only be audible when I modulate the phase. With this noise wavetable, we have a random array of harmonics. However, the spectrum, of course, is still static. We can create some vibrato here. If you're looking for the most characteristic sound, the saw waves give the traditional and richest results. But here we still have a method to add expression to any waveform. Here's a diagram that summarizes both videos on this. You might think of it as a template. Pulse width of 50% has only odd harmonics, including the first. As we get narrower, the even harmonics are reintroduced. Approaching 0 or 100%, the spectrum becomes flatter. The richest waves, like the sawtooth, can generate impulse-like spectra. And lastly, when the pulse width is fluctuating in both positive and negative directions, vibrato will be audible, but at higher rates. Therefore, a strictly positive or negative direction LFO, like the sawtooth, or even a tuning offset, 
will not create an additional vibrato.